Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you guys how to get all rare cars in GTA 5 Online. So these are some of the vehicles I will be showing today and you can get all these cars completely solo. If this video does help you out, can you take a second and drop a like down below and since you're down there just press the red button for more awesome GTA videos. Now let's jump straight into the video. So for the first car today I will show you how to get the rare Dobsta. First you will need to call Miss Baker. In order to call her you will need to own a casino penthouse. Now select car services and request a Dobsta. Then it's gonna spawn a matte black Dobsta nearby. Now you will need to come over to this exact LS Customs on the map during daytime. Then slowly drive in circles around the LS Customs. Keep in mind that this is by far the hardest car to spawn, it took me about 30 minutes. This time I will get it, so my advice is to drive in bigger circles. So this time I went a bit further and now you will see that it spawned in for me. This is a really cool car, you can now put a tracker and insurance on it or sell it for $23,000. There's also a gold version but I didn't manage to get that one. The second car in today's video will be the FIB Buffalo. To get this one, come over to the airport. You will also need to have any invite in your phone. Then register as a CEO or VIP. Now go to VIP work and start hostile takeover. Make sure the location is set on LSIA, aka the airport. Then just eliminate everyone over here and I recommend going in here with a bulletproof car so it will be easier. Now here you will see the FIB Buffalo, just get in the car and exit the airport. From here you will need to accept any invite from your phone and accept all the alerts. Now simply leave the mission. You will spawn back, the mission will be over and the car should still be here. So now make your way over to any of the arm wrestling icons on the map. We will use it to repair the car. Now park the car right on the marker, get out and press right on your d-pad. Now leave this activity and walk away. Turn around and the car will be repaired. You can use this car for roleplay or to flex on your friends. Moving on to the next vehicle, this will be the police bike. Come over to this exact store on the map between 11.30 and 15.30 in game time. Make sure that you bring a bike with you. Now walk inside the store and aim your gun at the clerk. You will now get a 2 star wanted level, then walk back out. Get on your bike and follow the same route as me. So just drive to the back of this ammunition and keep looking to the right. After like 10 seconds a police dot will appear on the map on your left side. Then drive to it and shoot the cop from his bike. You will now have this cool police bike. This next car is pretty tricky to get, it's the Mexican Tornado. First come over to this exact location, preferably with an oppressor or helicopter. Face the same way as I do, so away from the spawn location, wait till it's 6.30pm and as soon as it hits 7pm the car should spawn behind you on the mountain. So now just grab a normal sniper and shoot the driver. Then fly to the mountain, there are also some cops, eliminate them if you want to and then just get in the tornado and drive it off the cliff. Now 
Now you can remove your wanted level and then save it to your garage or go to Beaker's Garage. The next rare card that we will get is the Red Loader, you can get a yellow and green version. First come over to this location on the map with a muscle car. It will spawn in between 6 and 9 am in game time. If you just follow the same route as I do, it will spawn 9 out of 10 times. So drive over here and make sure you drive slow. Then stop right over here and look to your left. I just sped this part up, but now keep driving like I do and the Red Loader should spawn in right over here. Now you can drive it inside Beaker's garage and put insurance on it if you want. The next car is actually one of the rarest cars to own, this is the last Slim Van. To get this car you will need to own a submarine, then go to the planning screen. Once you're on this screen, go one tap to the right and click on approach vehicles. Now select all canals and start part 2. So first you will need to complete part 1, that one is pretty easy to complete. Now open your map and see where you have to go. If it's a different location than this one, you will need to find a new session and retry. So it has to be this exact location. Go to the yellow marker and eliminate everyone but be careful that you don't destroy the lost slam van. Now get in the van and destroy the plane with sticky bombs. You will now have the rare lost slam fan and you can use the repair trick from before. The next rare car that I will show is the Sentinel SX. Make your way over to this location on the map with any car. I recommend to drive in a high-end vehicle so it will spawn faster. You will just need to drive around the block between 10pm and 2am. So keep driving till you either see a purple modded car or a yellow greenish version of this car. You can sell this car for 17,000 or store it in your garage. The yellow greenish version sells for almost $15,000. The next one is the clown van. You can unlock this one by reaching level 75 in the arena but we can drive in it by bookmarking a job. The job is only for xbox and the link will be in a pinned comment. Then restart your game so it appears in game. You can start it via your pause menu if you go to bookmarked jobs and then to stunt races. You can start it on your own or play with your friends. Leave all the settings like they are and start the race. You will now see the clown fan and you can even change the color of it or actually the pearlescent. Now ready up. When you load in you can drive in the clown van and it also has the clown horn. You can now freely drive around and take pictures of the van or complete the race, it's a pretty fun race with jumps. Moving on to the next one we have the space docker. This one can be unlocked by reaching level 1000 in the arena but we can drive in it by bookmarking a job. The link is in the pinned comment and it's only for xbox. So it's pretty much the same as with the clown van but this time the game mode is a capture.
Now you can mess around with the settings like the weather, then invite someone and start. When you load in, you won't immediately have the space docker. What you will need to do is die and every time you respawn you will be in a different car. Do this until you have the space docker. You can also do this with friends to make it more fun. You can now freely drive around and take pictures of this unique vehicle. Next up I will show you how to get the yellow, green and purple gang cars. So over here on the map you have the Vagos, Ballas and Grove Street area. You have like 3 versions in 3 colors and they can spawn all day. I do think it's better to drive in a lowrider type of vehicle. So just drive around and they will spawn in one of these parking lots. When you steal one of these cars you can also get killed so be careful. Here I also found the green and purple cars. I really don't know why these guys are chilling here but these are pretty nice looking cars. Here are some more versions of the gang cars that I found and they all sell for around $10,000. Next up is the Sand King XL. Come over to this road near Sandy Shores Airfield. You can do this from the morning all the way till late afternoon. To up the chances of spawning it in, drive with a Sand King XL. So this one, you can buy it or get one off the street, but make sure you buy the XL one. So the 4 doors one and not the 2 doors one. Now drive slowly and keep looking to the right, so away from the spawn location. I will speed this part up. Once you are past Alice Customs, look to your left and the truck should be there, either in baby blue or in nice yellow. The yellow one is actually the only pre-customized vehicle that spawns in with ice white wheels. There will also be some bonus cars at the end, but this is pretty much the last rare car I will show you in today's video. First open your pass menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rocks are created, scroll down to missions and start a mission called cod napping. You will unlock this mission if you're level 20 or higher. Then just start it on your own and make your way over to this exact location on the map. Drive to this parking lot, go to the left and here you will see a van. This is actually Lamar's van from story mode, so it's pretty rare. You can see that there's some trash in the back and now you can just store this vehicle inside your garage. These last cars are bonus cars, they can randomly spawn in at any Alice Custom, so I think these are pretty cool. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, drop a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye!